Hey guys, how's it going and welcome back to another Call of Duty mobile video. Now I've been using the Legendary Chopper for a while now since the gun was released. So I'm going to show you guys the best loadout for this gun with some gameplay. So let's first get into my loadout and of course we can see the Legendary Chopper is equipped. Now obviously this works with the normal chopper as well if you got it. So let's see what we do have as our attachment. So obviously I'm rocking the FMJ with the chopper. I am rocking the stock and the quick draw. Now for me, the two, the essential um, attachment for me is is, um, is the quick draw because of how slow the chopper actually scopes in. So the quick draw is a must. It is a must to be equipped. And for the um, stock, for me, I prefer the stock obviously because um, the chopper is quite a heavy gun. So obviously, you know, for me, I like to use the stock because it allows me to strive better and win more gunfights. So and for me, I just um, equip the FMJ because for me I want the um, chopper to maximize um, the most damage you can actually maximize when I actually take down enemies so that's my attachments um, let's see um, so for my um, secondary weapon I have a pistol equipped that is just because of um, because of how heavy the chopper is so sometimes depending on my map sometimes I would want to rush so that's why I have a pistol equipped I wouldn't recommend having a knife equipped, um, so I recommend a pistol if you want to switch be in, in between weapons, you know, to rush. Otherwise, you know, for my other um, class, I would recommend equipping a um, rocket launcher. Obviously, it depends on how your playstyle is. For me, it depends on the map as well. So sometimes I prefer to equip the pistol and sometimes I prefer to equip the SMRS, depending on the map and how it plays. So that's um, my... Um, um, attachments and my secondary weapon. So for my other perks and attachments for me, I use lightweight because obviously I said before the chopper is a quite a heavy gun. So lightweight basically increases your sprint speed, which gives you a boost in speed, which is much needed uh, given given how heavy this gun actually is. And for me, I'm I'm using hardwired because for me in my playstyle, I tend to actually trip a lot, trip over a lot of troop mines. So that's why I use this um, attachment. And for me, of course, you would be absolutely silly not to use that silence, so that's what I have equipped. So let's now jump into a game and see how the chopper plays in a game. So guys, we're back in a game, and for the first game, I'll be rocking my chopper loadout with my pistol equipped. Just because I'm playing a little bit more aggressive, and let's see what this loadout can do. So I'm going to throw up this grenade right there, and straight away, there is someone picking out in the corner, and we do get the first kill, which is always nice. So somewhere around the corner as well. All right, let's go on. Get another kill up close, which is very nice. Now, um, guys, for me, this uh, lightweight attachment definitely, definitely um, is a must, and you feel a massive difference with this gun straight away. For me, I got the Skulker equipped as well previously, but the lightweight absolutely is essential for this gun. So let's go on and see if we get some more kills. All right, there. Got two more kills, very, very nice. So I'm going to just drop the shock RC car and hopefully stun some enemies so we get some more kills. Stun that guy right there. Let's peek around the corner. Now this chopper, in my opinion, it's extremely versatile. Um, you know, for far range, mid range, this gun can get the drop down. Even close range, this gun is extremely deadly. For me, uh, in my opinion, um, after some testing, close range, this gun can be extremely deadly. Um, except for the fact that it does scope in quite slow. So if you're turning corners, right, and if the enemy has a lighter gun, like an SMG, if you're not already scoped in or you're not prepared to scope in once you turn the corner, you might lose the gunfight. So it depends on your playstyle and how, if you do take um, close range gunfights, you might actually have different a different success rate with this gun. So let's go and get some more nice kills and let's stay behind this wall and equip um, and just reload this gun. Hopefully get some more kills. Alright, let's wait for some people to step out. So there's two guys right there and we take them out. Easy as you like with the chopper LMG. So um, let's hopefully get some more kills around the corner. So we got that guy as well. Now this honestly has to be one of the most fun legendary guns ever. And we got the new with the chopper in our first game. So that's extremely nice. So let's use the step back, take a deep breath and let's use the nuke. And let the nuke do its damage. So for me as I was saying, the chopper is definitely one of my favorite legendary guns. It, Obviously, um, it can be a very good gun if you know how to use this gun properly. And for me, I've been using this gun non-stop, and I absolutely love this gun. It's a great, it's great fun to use. And for me, 
in my next game, you see how it plays right in range. And trust me, it is a very, very good gun. So let's just drop the shot RC car, let's stun some enemies and get another kill. So, one go behind the walls, nice, nice kill. So I'm just gonna poke my head around the corner, and the game's almost ended. So we do win, we are on track on winning the first game, so that's very nice. So, one kill there, two kills, and third kill. So we do finish the game off with the chopper LMG. So that was a pretty good first game, so let's jump into a ranked game and see how this gun performs in a ranked game. Alright guys, we're back in a ranked game and I'm playing Hardpoint at Standoff. So let's see what this gun can actually do. So for this amount, I'm going to be equipping my chopper with my um, SMRS just because it is a Hardpoint man. Hopefully my rocket launcher will help me get a few extra kills. So straight off the bat, I'm rushing over to this corner and just hope this spraying enemies down and this gun straight away easy as you like absolutely shreds enemies um close range so let's actually go around the corner and see if we can get some more kills another kill there but we do die to a guy at the back all right so let's keep on going so we're gonna go around this corner i'm gonna drop this shock rc car there but it's going in an opposite direction so i'm gonna follow this car hopefully get some kills so um all right the shock rc is gonna stun someone behind this corner i'm gonna take that guy out in close range so let's actually throw the grenade up there. The hard point, hopefully get some kills. At this moment, we're losing pretty badly. Um, 7 to 49, but I do get that kill across the window. So that's nice. I'm going to reload this gun for a bit. And actually just go around this corner and see if I can get some kills. So I'm at the hard point. But I'm not about just to rush in. So I'm just going to wait for someone to come out. I'm going to play it smart right now. So going to wait for a bit. Pick my head around the corner. This guy there. And I do get the kill from close range, so... Alright, it might be time to go up now. Okay, two guys up there, and we do get two kills from close range with the Shock RC. And we do get the hot point for our team. So, yeah, someone stunned there, and we get two kills just like that. Alright, let's keep on going. So, there is someone here. So, we do get that kill. As you guys can see, having the stock equipped... This come into play right there because it allows me to strife in order to get that kill. So let's just actually turn around the corner and there is someone there and we do take him out as well. So one thing that I like about having a stock equipped, it allows me to strife back and forth for me to win more gunfights. So let's actually pick my head around the corner. It's gonna go and just right over here and we do get one guy and we do kill two people just like that. So as you guys can see, Having a stock equipped with a gun like the chopper would do you a world of good. And trust me, if you guys haven't already equipped a stock with your chopper, do it now. Alright, let's keep on going. So I'm currently 15 and 1. Just tearing everybody apart in ranked with the legendary chopper. So I have not tried the normal chopper yet. But I will be getting the normal chopper soon. I'll be doing a comparison with the... Normal chopper against the legendary chopper to see if it's actually worth $150. So let's go on and actually capture the hot point right there. So okay, there's someone around the corner and we do uh someone around the corner and we do not get those two kills anyway. It's fine. I'm gonna reload this gun for a bit and just go back, hopefully get myself a kill. So this grenade right there, I'm gonna jump and I got shot. So the game is coming to an end. We are just one point away from winning was a great turnaround and that was the game so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video let me know what you guys think about my tips and tricks of the new chopper with the new attachments and the perks equipped with this gun let me know what you guys think about this legendary chopper as well as well as the normal chopper if you guys have not tried the chopper yet what are you guys doing make sure you guys go out and love this gun and go and give this gun a try it is a lot of fun and do let me know what you guys think of this gun after you guys have tried it. Thank you so much for watching guys and I'll see you guys in my next video.